Hi, this is Mary, and this screencast is to tell you a little bit about Hammerling's Acetabularia. Acetabularia is a, a green alga. This particular species is called Acetabularia crenulata. I collected this particular alga uh, um, off of the island of San Salvador in the Bahamas. Acetabularia consists of uh, three parts. This structure typically has three parts. I'm going to pull one out for you, and we're going to look at it together. Um, typically, at the base of the organism, we would expect to see a rhizoid or a, a foot through which the organism attaches to its substratum. This here is the stalk, and at the top is the cup from whence it gets its name. So what I'm here to tell you is that that entire structure is a single cell, one single cell. Um, so now what I want to move on to tell you about is some experiments that were done in, um, in the 1930s by Hohokun Hammerling, a German research scientist. And what he did was he worked with another species of Acetabularia, Acetabularia mediterraneae. And what he did was he removed the cap from Acetabularia. And when he removed the cap, um, he noted that after a period of time, a new cap was regenerated. He also did an experiment where he removed the foot of the acetabularia. Now note that the nucleus is contained in the foot of the acetabularia and when he removed the foot he noted that there was no new foot regenerated. This told him that the nucleus appeared to be the part of the plant that was directing the production of form. The next experiment that he did was a reciprocal transplantation experiment. So what he did here was he worked with two different species, Acetabularia mediterraneae and Acetabularia crenulata. This is the species I collected in the Bahamas. It's not really blue, but um, this is just to, to make a point. It is indeed green. It's a green alga. Um, he did some reciprocal grafting experiments. So what he did was he took the stalk or the stem of Acetabularia crenulata and grafted it onto the foot of Acetabularia mediterraneae. Conversely, he took the stalk or the stem of the mediterranean species and grafted it onto the foot of the Acetabularia crenulata. He then asked the question, what kind of cap would you expect to regenerate? And what he observed was that the cap was, that was regenerated was dependent upon whichever foot or whichever rhizoid was present in the sample. For example, in this one here, it generated a cap like that of Mediterranean, and in this sample here, it generated a cap like that of Crenulata. The stalk did not dictate the structure of the cap in either case. He observed microscopically that the nucleus was present in the rhizoid or the foot of Acetabularia. From this, he concluded that the nucleus he observed the nucleus was down here. The nucleus was what directed the formation of the cap, and therefore the nucleus contained the genetic information. 